So before I start, um, my feature is not necessarily activism based, and so there's a lot. Big wedding ring. Sorry. <sighs> There's a lot of important things that are happening in Sacramento on a national stage, and I'm really proud of the city for like peacefully protesting, shutting shit down. And so, if there's confusion about like protesting or what that is or not being able to see basketball, I'm totally open to have that conversation after the show. Um, I don't want this or anything any other poets are doing unless it's for activism to take away from what's going on in our city. I think that's just really important to say it. There's a lot of um, events going on. There was a funeral today. So just be aware, like, it's just Yeah, so, Stephon Clark. Say his name. Stephon Clark. 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 Say his name. Stephon Clark. Say his name. Stephon Clark. Clark. Thank you guys. Okay. I know when I received his grandmother's ring, we would be matched based on tradition. More than material possession, it symbolized our eternity. A circle of history, fingers and families intertwined and interlocking, the notion of forever with infinite possibilities is pristine. My grandmother knew this and tried to put it in context. She said, Calanite clay, is the bones of a paste. Mullite is the mineral used as a refractory material because of its ability to stay strong in hot situations and its sheer purity. They are chosen because of situations they will face together. Fired in a kiln formed at 1400 degrees Celsius, it'll dance through flame. Impermeable liquids glaze to resist staining, held to light opaque but transparent. Treat your marriage like Wedgwood bone china. Be porcelain, timeless pattern, irreplaceable. Love like this is discontinued. Don't replicate ancient things. Things will break beyond your control. For better or for worse, submit to the family. Keep this as a set. Complete as possible. Take special care. Treat it delicate. It is durable. Handle, don't ca handle it casually like your marriage. Hold it secure. Work hard through your issues. Bruised egos will heal, but if you keep things pristine, regardless if it's clean, just don't leave the chip china lying around. Reminders, just lying around. Repairs are a priority. Cracks spread. Staple pieces are your foundation. Fix the problems instead of searching for replacements. These family heirlooms are now mine. It's careful. These treasures, they are a huge ass burden. Um, <laughs> but they are a joy. The surface that served them is now, and they struggle to figure it out, it now is being passed down to us in just the handing of a dish. Now I season our love with a spicy rub to continue to compromise over humble pie. Because for them, when the bone china began to break, it was irreplaceable. Pieces began to disappear, so did the trust. In a wedge, would it be over, or just easier to leave with the pieces they had left? Should they wait for it to all be destroyed? Super glue and band-aids became quick fixes. They appeared to lock tight. Both knowing <laughs> the broken pieces are filed under, I told you so, and I fucking hate you. Mm. Lemonade fixes for tea-stained saucers will only hide the reminders. It's not broken is stained. We just have to eat. 